Orange and Limo. Yes. I Come on. I look forward to this stream every weekend. Warcraft 3 is amazing. Keep up the great work, Grubby. Thanks, Timmy. Yes. <laughs> oh man, wow. Hadoka. Ready to work. Be happy to. That that sounds unbelievable. Like I can't really imagine that. He said uh he, he said holiday? He went we to the pool bar, he heard sound from an we iPad, more he more thought more. he heard Zug Zug, yes sir. Ready He's like, is that work. Warcraft? They struck up a conversation and they ended yes. up in the guy's. Uh, oh no, no. They struck up a conversation and they, he was watching my replay. We need more Crazy more. how small the world is. That is so awesome, Hadoka. <laughs> Unbelievable, but awesome. Work complete. Work complete. You want. Something ah, okay, I think actually it's good to scout on this map. At least. Um, at least to see if his creep route is the same as mine, because in Orc versus Orc, if it's a, a creeping map, okay, let's say if it's not a creeping map, the, what you will do is buy circlet and dust, and you will go to attack each other's grunt, and just don't creep until you see that the opponent makes a mistake. If it is a creeping map, like Tarina Stat, uh, you actually creep, uh, but in order to to outdo your opponent, you need to create a, a story about what he's doing. There's no way to tell the story without knowing how it begins. So if he does this, then this, then this, then this, then I get it. If I do the same, I know exactly when he's level 3, same time as me. But if I don't scout any of those, I don't know. He could be doing level 1 harass, level 2 harass. So let's check it out. We start by creeping this camp and we see if he's doing the same thing, right? He starts the same way. That means we get critical strike first. He finds mantle, that means that I am ever so slightly faster with the follow-up creeping. I thank you. Jaina and Thrall sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G and that's how Kale thus was born. I'm not sure if that's lore accurate. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do now is try to save our peon. We can act cute and try to cancel like a healing self. Because we know it's gonna be the same time as mine. But I think it's better just to uh, save it for now and see if he's going for the mer golden merchant. And I will do the creep route exactly as I said. Now that has pros and cons. Oh, what? Isn't it night time? Oh, it's not night time yet. Oh, I thought I heard night time. I don't know why. Oh, never mind. Now we don't know as much as what it, about what he's doing. Anyway, I'm doing the fastest creep route, which is nice. But it has a downside. And it is, uh... Oh. Uh, don't kill my grunt, master. please. Yes, Lord. Hey. Yes. He's buying boots. What task is there? Master? Yes, Lord. Yes. Excellent choice. Master? What task is there? We'll just oh. chill here for a bit. I am yours. Yes. No time. Huh? Oh. He has clarity. Yes. So he wants yes, to do a lot of harass. What do you want? Well, that's more money spent. I don't mind too much. As long as he's not creeping, I don't really begrudge the time that he's making me waste. Because he's never ever gonna get this grunt cost efficiently. Master? Master? Yes. Huh? Something you're doing? I can I am yours. Master? Like yes, whatever he thinks he's doing, yours, it's not as good yes. as he thinks it is. Yes, Absolutely yes. yes. I am yours. Hey. Yes! 
I'm spending salves and he's, he's expecting to be spending salves and uh, clarity. Now it's possible that he ditched me and that he's going to the top right. So rather than finally doing the Goblin Merchant that I could have, I'm instead going to get Quick Shadow Hunter and go to the top right myself. There's a chance that we meet him there. And that is far better than getting the camp that he knows I'm getting, because he can craft a story around that. So is he here, yes or no? No, okay. We still do the top right, we're already here. Actually, I don't want all my grunts to get poisoned, so I'll do this without the grunts. I guess except the one that already got the top this is lower three. Yes. I am yours. Are you hero and obey? What you see so? Okay. He did solo grunt creeping. Excellent choice. He's level three. So he gets three from that, but it also uh, hurts his grunts because he's doing creeping without uh, without his actual grunts in attendance. I mean, without his blade master in attendance. So that is something that you have to heal up at the moment. I was distracted with my macro big mistake. Did, I did get the creep, right? No, I didn't. Or did I? Just building a burrow, guys. Please don't attack me. I could have easily prevented that. Let's check out where he's at. We need more gold. Bring Pios just in case we meet halfway. I am yours. Yes. He also got rune bracers. Well, there is a kind of justice in that. Absolute choice. Two bad items. We are enemies behind him. Haste my blade. I wreck my ready for a fight, except I don't have mana, so if I just do this, I can fall back to it at some point. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, I am one. 
I am yours. Yeah. Are you here to handle me? Fight. Yes, Lord. Say the word. I think the worst thing that can happen is he's in my base now. I'm killing oh. Dion suddenly. I am yours. We are enemies. Oh. I did. Yes, Lord. Victory is full. Research to come. I thank you. No Todd today. No Todd today. He's uh, busy the next four weeks. Yes. Mm -hmm. What task is there? We need more number complete. We need more number. If he's going to actually start this, it's pretty good to creep jack in here. If he's not, well, we've got our clarity. Here. Thank you. Have you tried to start Dota Korea? No. Would you like to be a pro gamer now? No. Yes. Yes, Lord. We need to uh, be aggressive because he might be going for my peons. But he only focused play. He had a better army or something. I used my heal scroll at a very poor time though. I thank you. SMORC smash face SMORC. <laughs> well, that is happening. Yeah, we won by Micro. I think he had a better setup. And to prove it, let's watch the replay. Thanks, Vok. There's no point in telling the story if you don't know how it begins. Gravity 2016. <laughs> Alright. Uh, mistake here. We um, we didn't have Spirit Walker upgrade. Whoops. If he had Scroll of the Beast, we'd be dead. He didn't micro. He just stood there and attacked, and what micro he did actually made things worse than if he had a micro at all. Uh, because he only attacked Aid Master with greater healing potion. I used Heal Scroll at a bad time, and I didn't have Spirit Walker upgrade. And only 57 food. And I didn't bring peons. Um, but he had a better setup. He actually did a pretty decent amount of damage anyway with his harass. I didn't think too much of it, but the uh, grunt creeping resulted in a level 3 blade. That is also important. So I actually think this guy has brains with the micro. Um, in the, in the fight. And this is why uh, it was quite tough actually. He played it much smarter than me the early game. I was more straightforward and uh, really nice little moves. It's just a big fight where he lost control. He should practice that and he will win the game next time. Unless, you know, I do a better early game. No, 2.2 shadow, that's about the same. I got better items, double slip of rigidity, that's my luck. Nice move there by him. Didn't cost him entirely nothing, because I did cancel some souls and clarities and made him use some mana. I, I lose my potion of invulnerability. But this was my main advantage, getting level 3 shadow onto here. Now he did steal an item, didn't he? Oh no. He may have stolen the creep. This was big for him. He's gonna get a lot of money. Uh, he had... What upgrades did he have? 
zero one soon, and I'm going one one. We're under attack. Research complete. Uh, he has a bit more gold than I did. He's gonna be uh, zero one, so I upgraded more. He has easily enough money to go to 60 food, and he will, which also means second go to this. He also eat before I did. I am going to 56 earlier, which is nice since we're about to have a fight. But research complete. We don't fight immediately quite yet. There's still a little bit of delay, and then the way that it started, a lot of damage on my raider. He is focusing everything on my blade though, who has a lot of armor class, 9.7. I have better upgrade, but I, oh yeah, I didn't make an investment in another upgrade yet. Uh, also, he is bringing two peons, and I just sent them back to get lumber because I thought I'm gonna play an upgrade game. But uh, he also has some grunts that are not spirit linked yet, even though he has mana. But yeah, the setup. 55 versus 60, but his units are not yet in attendance. That means that I have the initial small advantage, even though I don't have peons. Let's put my army advantage at about 3 supply, 3 food. I have 5 grants, uh, 2 raiders, right? Do I still have 2 raiders? Yeah, 2 raiders, 2 walkers, and a kodo. He's got 2 walkers, 2 raiders, and a kodo, but his walkers are upgraded. That means they have more HP and more mana. No more damage, so that part at least is the same. He also eats a unit first, and I don't. He hexes mine. He has a total of 390 mana. I have uh, 300 plus, but I have a mana potion and a heal scroll. He's got one of the lightning shield and a heal scroll himself. I have more armor and damage on the blade master and a greater healing potion. I would say my consumables are quite a bit better than his. I have about three food more. And I have one attack upgrade more on grunts. I've also got one more grunt. Yeah, that's the three food. But he brought two peons. Levels is about the same. And he eat first. And then once these units come in, you know what? We both should have brought peons, but we were too busy. Once uh, his three units come in, there may be a bit of a, a, a tilt towards him. He's got slightly more mana on both heroes as well at the moment. So overall, I would say it's Almost quite even, but if he doesn't focus my greater healing potion, Blade Master, that's an advantage that uh, doesn't do anything for me. And then a really big thing is that this grunt wasn't linked for a while. It dropped 500 HP before it first got linked, and I've got five units attacking it. Losing the first unit is a pretty big deal. I also get to have a Raider on his Kodo, which is the correct attack class against uh, Unarmored. Extra damage. And is using mana to Hex Kodo, which actually is pretty cool because during that time, I'm not gonna have the damage aura of Kodo Beast, which is about 15 seconds, on any of my units. So he is earning back the fact that his uh, Grunts and Raiders don't have attack upgrade yet by Hexing this Kodo with the extra mana he had. But at the same time, his walkers, blade and shadow do more damage than mine. They have the plus two, the shadow has the plus three. Mine, of course, don't because uh, Kodo isn't active. Now, uh, we analyzed that he's attacking my blades a lot. How could he have fixed this? Well, he could send this raider and this grunt down and try to ensnare this raider, this one, and start attacking it with at least one grunt, maybe the peons as well. At what time does he use his heal scroll? We have to check this out too. He uses it now. Which, uh, it was mostly to save these two grunts. So it could be a lot better. My blade should be attacking this low HP grunt now. And I'm getting a Kodo eat eat here. You can't see cooldowns of units, but we do see that one of my units is ensnared. So maybe he could ensnare this. There we go, eat it grunt. And there that grunt finally dies. So he's at 57 now, I'm still at 55, he lost his one unit, but his second Kodo is going to be coming in. But most of the fight will already have been decided by that time. He only has one wind wall, he doesn't have protection items on his blade, this is a pretty big deal. He does still have dust of appearance on me, but that was his last one. And one more thing is he never used his wand of lightning shield. His blade master was inside of my units for a long time, and... <laughs> 
in this in the middle of all my units for a long time, and he could have uh, used one of lightning shield to get a lot of bonus damage there. And his Coda Beast never was able to advance from the location backwards. I mean, to the back of his army after he ate a unit, so it's gonna die unfortunately. But right as it does, the new Coda comes out. If you have a single spirit linked unit, that doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm also making a conscious effort to focus down peons that have uh, no HP. Basically what Spirit Link does is it brings a unit to 1 HP and then the Spirit Link will dissipate because there's no more linking possible. You see that on this Grunt, 2 HP, Peon, 2, 20. And the thing about Peons is they don't get prioritized in fights even when they attack move until there's no other units in aggro range nearby. So you gotta take a ranged unit like a walker or a Kodo or a shadow hunter and just kick them on because they do a lot of extra damage especially on raiders but just in general so it's very important to finish off those units that shadow hunter killed that grunt his blade master position now is really good um, but he doesn't have link on it even though he has some mana if he had clicked my spirit walkers and he saw that i don't have disenchant yet or in fact adept upgrade at all I feel like he could have got a lot of value out of aggressive disenchants. Rewind the fight about 30 seconds. Look at the mana that he has on his walkers now. He's got three available disenchants and he doesn't have everything linked. His blade isn't, for example. But uh, he has enough mana to do both. If he had aimed one or two tactical disenchants on my army, I would not have had enough mana to relink. I think that could have given him, him the edge. But overall, analyzing everything we had, I think it was a fairly even fight. The main advantage I had was my Blade Master damage, so if the fight goes long, I was eventually gonna win it. But I feel like he had a setup that could uh, win it and fight a little bit earlier. And I also think he was a little bit greedy to not go over 50 food yet, at the time when he had 750 gold and 50 food. And he also had available Barra. Because what he wanted to do was to go for his mercenary camp, and once he saw that I was near, he neither left, nor waited for his production, nor was it already coming. He could have, I think, known that if he goes to 60 and waits for the units to actually arrive, he's going to be in a much better situation. As for me, I think uh, mostly I need to make improvements on the early game. Keep in mind that I stupidly lost my peon. So I actually did not have data about what he was doing. Had I kept my peon at the goblin shop, we would have seen exactly that he was not doing the same creep route as I did, and that he would be inbound at the top and doing uh, evasion solo creeping with the grunts. Uh, Warcraft replays are so fun to watch, man. They're, they're so fluent and so full of information. You can learn a lot from it. Yes, sir. Excellent choice. Yes, yes, Lord. Oh. Nice self denial. Yes, if we can actually steal all Excellent wizards, choice. not only do we get this item, oh. we'll also not be level two. Oh. Ah, the, although I used all my mana, the value of not having him be level two is that his brilliant aura acquisition is delayed. 